Hello, and welcome to our next chapter in our ongoing series of tutorials that will help familiarize you and improve your skills with PaintShop Pro Photo X2 Ultimate. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to add text to your photos. Whether you're adding captions or comments to photos for display on a DVD, website, Facebook, or just emailing them to friends and family, nice looking text adds a great personal touch. Because Corel's PaintShop Pro Photo X2 Ultimate also contains extensive vector capabilities, in addition to the raster requirements when working with photos, we can add editable text and text effects. On a side note, many of PaintShop Pro Photo X2 Ultimate's features may also be accessed from more than one location. If you don't know under which menu to find a feature you need to use on your object, I recommend either right-clicking on the object to view applicable tools or double-clicking the object. This will oftentimes open an appropriate dialog box. Let's get started. As usual, we need to start with an appropriate photo. I've chosen this one that I want to use as a cover photo for my Spring Wildflowers website. Let's now click on the text tool in the toolbar. If you have the Learning Center open on the left side of your screen, you'll notice it has conveniently jumped to instructions on how to apply the text tool. And although this can be done after you enter text, Let's set some of our parameters now before we create the text. In the properties bar near the top here, I've chosen a font. I have set my justification to the center and my stroke width to two. The colors in the materials palette over here will designate our text colors. The foreground color will be our outline and the background color will be our fill. But I'm actually gonna set these later. I'm also not gonna worry about the font size just yet. Since we're working with vectors here, we can resize the text later with impunity. Now. Click anywhere on the screen to initially place your text. In the text box that appears, type your text. Use the carriage return if you want text on more than one line. And if you think you're going to be applying a text more than once, you can click this checkbox here that says Remember Text and click Apply. Now we're going to place our text on the screen where we'd like it and then grab the corners here to resize it. Remember, we're working with vectors here, so you can make it as big as you want to and you won't lose resolution. In the Layers palette over here, notice we have a new vector layer. This is required because vector text cannot be on the same layer as a raster photo. Luckily, PaintShop Pro Photo was smart enough to realize this and made the necessary adjustment. Now, most likely you didn't set your text outline or fill colors beforehand, so let's see how we can make that adjustment now, shall we? It's usually easier and more appropriate to set this after you created your text, so it only applies to the text. Let me show you what I'm talking about. With the arrow tool selected, which we can reach in the, either in the toolbar or by choosing the letter K, right click on your text and go to properties. We can now make our outline and fill color changes here. Notice the two color swatches. Now though, they're more appropriately labeled stroke and fill. Click on each one to open your color choices. When you open each one and move your cursor off the dialog box, it will change to an eyedropper. This means you can choose a color from your photograph. I'm actually going to choose an outline color from the yellow flowers in my picture. And then for the fill, I'm going to choose a color from one of the blue bonnets. When we're done, we can click OK. Now, see our vector layer over here in the Layers palette? Double click anywhere in that. Now we're in the Layers Properties bot dialog box, and we can change the name of our layer. You can also change the blend mode. The blend mode denotes how the text will blend with the underlying layer, in this case the photograph. I'm going to choose Screen. Make sure you have Preview on Image checkbox selected so we can see our results as we're making our adjustments. Now I'm going to select the Layer Styles tab also, and I'm going to click on the Outer Glow choice. And that's a little much. Let's reduce the size. I'm also going to select Emboss and increase the size to make my selection just a little more pronounced. Fantastic. Now we'll click OK. Now, just to show you that the text is still editable, I'm going to open up the text box again by double-clicking on it after selecting my text tool and make a change. Notice that all the effects are applied to any text edit I create. And to see our final results, select the hand tool or click the letter A, and there we have it. As always, experiment with the choices you have and save into the PSP file format often so you can keep making changes. Use the history palette 
undo or revert commands to back out and start over if you like, but don't be afraid to play. Looks pretty nice, don't you think? Thanks again, and we'll see you in our next chapter.